Okay, in this lesson, we want to find the limit of sine x all raised to the x power as x approaches 0 to the or from the right. All right, so I really like this example. I really do, because the graph of sine x to the x has a very interesting, um, uh, has a very interesting behavior. And also, um, this in this problem, we need to apply L'Hopital's theorem twice. Okay, so before we proceed, let's do a direct substitution. Okay, so we're going to get uh, plugging in 0, we get sine 0 raised to the 0, sine 0 is just 0, and you get 0, you get zero to the 0, which is indeterminate. Okay, it's an indeterminate value. Okay, so this is not equal to 1. Right? So therefore, we need to proceed by applying L'Hopital's theorem. Okay, so this uh, type of function is uh, it's in an exponential form, which means that we have a function of x raised to a variable x. Okay, so this is very similar to the example of 1 plus 1 over x raised to the x power. So just like we did in that problem, we need to apply that same, we need to take that same approach in this problem. And that is we need to use the natural log in order to bring down the x. Okay. So we're going to let, okay, so I'm going to let y be equal to the limit of sine x over x as x goes to, as x approaches 0 from the right. Okay. So now, now we can apply the natural log, okay, to both sides. So we don't want to apply the natural log in the original limit because that will in the original uh, function because that will change the original problem okay so we take the natural log of both sides okay and I can interchange the limit and natural log that's uh, that's perfectly valid so you're gonna have natural log of sine x raised to the x, okay, so we have natural log of all this, okay, so now using the, using the rule of natural log, I can bring down the x in front of the natural log, so this will give us, this will give us the limit of x times natural log x, oh sorry, natural log sine x, as x approaches 0 from the right. Okay, so we're at this point. Okay, so remember to use L'Hopital's rule, we need to express this function in fractional form. So I can rewrite this as natural log of sine x all divided by 1 over x. Okay, so let's uh, do a direct substitution just to show you that this is still going to give you indeterminate value. Okay, so when you plug in 0 here, okay, so sine 0 is just 0, but then as x, when, as x is approaching 0 from the right, remember that for the natural log function, it is, as x is approaching 0 from the right, the natural log function is decreasing. And you have, because of you have a vertical asymptote at x equals zero, okay. So this top part is actually going to give you minus infinity. Okay, um, for the denominator, you have one over something getting smaller. Okay, so that's going to be infinite. Okay. So again, this is an indeterminate, indeterminate value as we expected. Okay. So now let's apply the uh, L'Hopital's theorem. Okay, so we're going to do that by taking the derivative of the top. So nat the derivative of natural log of sine x will be 1 over sine x times the derivative of sine x. So that's going to give us cosine x divided by sine x divided by the derivative of 1 over x. And that should be 1 over, or that will give you minus 1 over x squared. Okay. Um, 
so now simplifying this okay let's let's simplify this a little bit more so cosine cosine over sine is just cotangent okay and then we have 1 over minus 1 over x squared so so taking the reciprocal we get minus x squared times cotangent x okay however remember to use L'Hopital's rule again we need to put this in fractional form okay so we can do that um, uh, because we know cotangent x cotangent x is the same thing as 1 over tangent x okay so we have minus x squared over tangent x all right so now if we if we do the direct substitution here okay all right we get uh, so obviously we're going to get zero here on the top and zero here and the a tangent zero zero so we get indeterminate form okay so that means we need to right we need to reapply or we need to reapply uh, L'Hopital's theorem okay Okay. All right. So, okay, taking the limit, take the derivative of the top part, which is minus 2x. Uh, the derivative of tangent x is secant squared x. Okay. So, plugging in, right? So, plug in x equals 0, we get 0 on the top. Secant 0 is the same as 1 over cosine 0. 1 over cosine 0 is 1. Okay, so this is not the solution. All right, this is not our solution. Remember that in the beginning we had, right, we had let y be equal to the original limit. Okay, so going back to here, okay, um, we're going to, right, this is going to give us y equals to actually we need to go sorry that's where I'm letting y be the limit but we took the natural log so we actually need to look here all right so this is going to be natural log of y equals to zero okay and again that's coming from here okay because I'm laying I took the natural log of both sides of this step so now solving for y we take my e of both sides so we're going to get e to the natural log y is just y, e to the 0 is just 1. So therefore, y equals to 1. So therefore, the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of sine x to the x is 1. 